Okay, so everybody out there who has this carburetor and has the choke shift that comes up, and I understand you guys uh, were saying you can't get this out. Okay, so you don't have to take this off. I know you're going to have a longer a two, you're going to have a longer pipe coming off of here. You're going to have a, a rod coming right off of here. But you want to to take this out without taking this rod out of here. You don't have to take that rod out. All you have to do is take out this choke plate. And this choke plate, this is a little hard here, but the choke plate here, I'm not sure if I can show this to the camera or not. Choke plate is right here. And that's plastic right here. So what you have to do is turn it sideways, right? So it's facing out. Remember how it goes. That's the important part. Now, you guys out there with two hands, you probably can grip the carburetor with your one hand and pull it out with the other. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a vise. I have to be very careful you don't bend or break the cast aluminum. I'm gonna use a pair of vise grips. I'm gonna crimp down on it. Hopefully these vise grips are good enough and I'm just gonna pull it out just like so. Okay, and you can see, I gotta keep looking at my camera. Um, all right, so you can see there's actually a couple lines that are in there. I'm gonna leave, see, before you put this back in your other one, just leave it. I'm using vice grips for a couple different reasons. One, it's easier for me to grip it and pull it out most of the time, as long as your vice grips are, are working pretty well. And then two, I just remember that you put it back in exactly the way you got it, and it'll clip in, okay? So when you put it back in, you have the slot there, and you push it back in just like so, and it just sits in there. So you have to be careful. Don't keep popping it in and out. Okay, I'm gonna to try to show you here. It just slides in like that, okay? You have a slot in the shaft, okay? And it slides in. And I'm doing this on an angle so you can see it. And then you have two little clips that are in there and you push it in and it'll lock itself in. And you just have to make sure that when you turn it open and close it, now I'm on that little spring in the back that I showed you. Make sure it closes properly and there's enough gap in between everything. If it's not opening and closing properly, then you have an issue. But all you do is you pull that out, like so, put it back into your new one. This will come right up. And then like I said about that spring behind here, I tried to show you guys earlier. This, I might just do a second video, but Right here is the spring behind it. And as you can see, it won't go down. You actually literally have to pull the spring out a little bit to get that to go, whoops, no, you want the right side. Pull out a little bit and it goes down in there. And then you put your choke plate in the slot, push it in and good to go. All right, I hope that helps you guys. Please um, share my channel with your friends to help it grow. And I do appreciate everybody watching.